Hey, good morning, everybody. Hey, uh, today's date is 11 16 2010. Uh, let's get into the metals uh, gold 1340, silver 2555. There's a correction there, no big deal. It's the wall of worry, as uh, some people call it. You know, hey, I gotta apologize for not. Uh, you know, keeping in contact via uh, YouTube, guys. But this cold is, you know, I guess I got to quit smoking cigars and and uh, non-filtered cigarettes. Just kidding, I don't smoke. So anyway, uh, it's it's slowing me down, but it's not stopping me. Uh, so this is kind of wild. So I was I was cruising uh, uh, YouTube today, and I went on Gold Silver's uh, GoldSilver.com's website, Mike Maloney's site. This is kind of wild. So when the Brenton Woods Agreement was established, they had set the price of gold at 35 an ounce. So in order to get the world to swallow our currency, they said, well, we'll, we'll go ahead and affix a ratio of 35 to 1. 35 of our dollars, of our greenbacks, to one ounce of gold. Redeemable in gold. However, history shows it didn't even start out at 35 to 1, man. They started out at 39 to 1. So from day one, you know, from day one, it was it was uh, it was off. It wasn't correct, and so I find that kind of wild. So today's ratio is three thousand six hundred eighty-nine point one four to one. So no wonder, you know, uh, as I said in the bottom of that little paragraph I was reading there, that is the that is, you know, that is the master framework of why we're having a global problem, and. Um, as far as currency goes. Wild. As far as inflation goes, the government cure is killing us. And once again, you know, my last video, I was scratching my head and, you know, I was thinking, holy smokes, can, can, is Bernanke, you know, mentally incompetent? I mean, and you know, you guys, you guys kind of straightened me out on that. And, and it's not like I hadn't heard any of that stuff before, but God, it just really, you know, it makes you want to pull your hair out. Well, let's see, you know, this, this cracks me up. Um, so this is the this is the Fed for you here. The the Fed says inflation isn't isn't high enough. We need just a little bit more to really kickstart this economy, right? They surveyed the situation and said uh, our records show that we have uh, you know record unemployment. They don't see enough uh, ec enough economic growth, so we must we must need a little more inflation. And I have down there W period, T period, F period, and I'll let you guys figure that out. This is kind of funny. Schiff says, Peter Schiff, he says, uh, so that's like going to the doctor, and the doctor sits you down, you got a fever, you're not feeling too good, and he says, well, you know, uh, Mike, you got the flu, so what we're going to go ahead and do for you is break your arm. So when I leave the office, I have the flu and a broken arm. I mean, that kind of cracks me up. So, you know, that's just a small that's just a small snippet of what I've been thinking about the last few days. I haven't been studying like I normally do. It's driving me insane. I do have a new book coming for my business. Uh, it's all about affiliate marketing, and that is exciting to me. Um, as you guys know, I'm a big proponent of not let's not just go out and buy precious metal and and uh, you know build a shrine around it and think, boy, that's the end all to beat all. You might have to you might have to learn how to survive in this interim that's coming up. Uh, with a, another way of making income. If you lose your job or whatever, I'm making my own. I'm making my own income and, and uh, you know, at least making an attempt at it. And, uh, you know, as you know, we did pretty good with my, my son's little website this, this summer, uh, www.smallengineadvicefordummies. The main reason we're getting this book on affiliates is because we're going to load his site up with affiliate stuff. And that's kind of neat. The other thing is real quick. I went on a, I've been going into a chat room lately and, uh, uh, and talking with a guy named uh, Silver Liberty uh, quite a bit, and uh, Da Vinci's been there on and off, and and um, I haven't seen Silver Futurist there, but I, I don't, who knows? He might be going in and out of this room as well. Bottom line is this: He goes, quit, quit thinking about you know uh, Southern, excuse me, Southern Liberty. He says, you know, quit thinking about you know our cushy lifestyle straight to Mad Max because there's going to be a, cha a transition period between now and when that happens, and between now and when that happens, you could lose your job, you could still be in your house. You know, uh, there's there's a hundred different scenarios that could be happening. Um, in other words, like I, my vote is we get it over with now. We crash the currency now. We go back to some kind of a gold back standard. You know, whether it's ATM cards or or what have you, to where there's a there's a gold backing, and uh, so we can keep the government in check. Uh, I vote we do it now because the longer it takes, the weaker we're going to become. I believe now. 
the reason I am so uh, such a proponent of gathering other ways of making income is because there is going to be an interim time, and it's up to you to um, to be able to survive. And I don't want to spend my silver to be making house payments. I mean, trust me, my, my we've had some heart to hearts. There will be no selling of silver to make a house payment in this in this not in this home. So now I want to go over one other thing. Um, you know, I'm a big proponent of education, so I'm going to hold this up, and hopefully, you guys can see it. This is a cool game. It is, so I'll be behind you. It's called Cash Flow. It's uh, by Robert Kiyosaki. And, uh, you know, it's been called, it's been called you know, uh, Monopoly on Steroids. Uh, it's an expensive game. I'm not sure what we paid. I think we paid around uh, 260 bucks for two games. I've got this one. I've also got Cash Flow for Kids. And what it does is it just kind of shows them you know how to manage money and uh, the, the main thing that I like about this game the absolute main thing is it has what's called an income statement I don't know if you guys can see that now most kids are never well most adults they don't know how to read a, a, a an income statement let me go over it real quick you have your income salary uh, uh, interest dividends real estate business your expenses taxes home mortgage school school loans car payments credit card retail Right. Um, you also have an auditor. You have a, a, a impartial auditor. And, and please don't quote me on any of this stuff because I haven't played it in a while. I, I'm ashamed to say. You have a balance sheet, which is on one side. Your savings, stocks, mutual funds, number of shares, cost of shares, real estate, down payment cost, business, down payment cost. The other side, you have your liabilities: home mortgage, school loans, car loans, credit cards, you know, retail, um, liabilities, bank loans. Right. And then on the back side, you know, once once you've gotten to the point where your passive income has exceeded your uh, monthly expenses, you're out of the rat race. In other words, in in his estimation, you're wealthy. And what a great thing! What a great thing to show with your, share with your family. And let me just tell you, my family, you know, most of us are Type A, so we're very very competitive. Uh, as you know, I like to play poker, which is I think you have to be kind of a Type A person to do that. Uh, you have to be competitive at, at the least. And so, in other words, I'm a big proponent of uh, you know education, guys. And anyway, thanks for uh, thanks for letting me talk at you today. And uh, you know, I still got this cold; it's raging on. So I don't know when my next video is going to come out. But I appreciate each and every one of you. Remember, study up, you guys. Maloney, Schiff, Da Vinci, J15, uh, Silver Futurist. You know, uh, check out these games uh, by Rich Dad uh, Company. You can go online and get them. Um, I think they should be in every school. I think every single student. Uh, before they graduate school should know that game backwards and forwards at least it'll give them a leg up and uh, kind of let them know you know there's a little bit more uh, out there than what they're being taught in school right now as you guys know I'm I'm freaked out by the fact they don't show our kids anything to do with money so that's up to us Morgan SLV out